In Diabetes Part 1, we discussed what diabetes actually is. In this second segment, we're going to talk about the testing that you got to get to see if you have this deadly disease. Diabetes affects more than 20 million Americans. Over 40 million Americans have prediabetes, which is early type 2 diabetes. So how do you know that you have diabetes? High blood sugar levels can cause several symptoms, including blurry vision, excess thirst, fatigue, frequent urination, hunger, and weight loss. Do you have these now? Then stop watching this video, get up, and take your butt to the doctor right now. When you get to the doctor's office, a urine test may be used to look for high blood sugar. But a urine test alone does not diagnose diabetes. Your health care provider may suspect that you have diabetes if your blood sugar level is higher than 200 milligrams per deciliter. To confirm the diagnosis, one or more of the following tests must be done. Fasting blood glucose level. Diabetes is diagnosed if it's higher than 126 milligrams per deciliter twice on two occasions. Levels between 100 and 126 milligrams per deciliter are called impaired fasting glucose or prediabetes. These levels are risk factors for type 2 diabetes. There is also the hemoglobin A1C test. Normal is less than 5.7 percent, prediabetes is 5.7 percent to 6.4 percent, and you have diabetes if it's 6.5 percent or higher. You can also have the oral glucose tolerance test. You have diabetes if your glucose level is higher than 200 milligrams per deciliter after two hours. This test is used more often for type 2 diabetes. <coughs> Screening for type 2 diabetes in people who have no symptoms is recommended for overweight children who have other risk factors for diabetes starting at age 10 and repeated every two years, overweight adults who have BMIs greater than 25 who have other risk factors, Adults over the age of 45, they should have theirs repeated every three years. Please, please, please get tested for diabetes. Your life may depend on it. I'm your favorite doctor, Dr. Corey A. Bear for BlackHealthTV.com.